Welcome to the overview of inventory automation. Let me show you a little bit more about how inventory automation service works here with Inventory Source. We're first integrated with your dropship supplier in regards to the fee that they provide for their product data, their inventory updates, and pricing updates. We've standardized this data and brought this into our database, and we are constantly monitoring their feed for any price, quantity, status, or data changes. Once it's in our database, we then provide that data in our catalog manager. Now, the catalog manager is the dashboard that you as the retailer have access to to set up pricing rules, map out categories, customize product data, and curate your catalog. Once you've set up all your different settings, we then do a full upload of product data onto your sales channel or marketplace. We then keep those products up to date on daily updates at a very optimized level for price, quantity, and status changes. I'm going to dive in a little bit more into the catalog manager, show you a little bit more about the tool. So once you signed up for a free account on Inventory Source front page, it then brings you into our app.inventorySource. You can see the Getting Started page here. Whenever you're ready to purchase an integration, just go to the Add Integration tab here on the left or browse our suppliers in the Supplier Directory tab. The Integrations tab is where you have access to the Catalog Manager and the Dashboard to manage your products from your supplier to your sales channel. So for instance, a US Direct Shopify integration, as you can see here, it brings me to the supplier feed. So here's all the products that we have access to with the supplier. We've got over 200,000 products with US Direct. I can then curate my catalog off of the supplier feed, moving products to either my product queue or my store catalog. I can do bulk advanced searching off of categories here on the left. I can even add on a little bit more of an advanced search off of different data points, such as quantity, cost range, must have a UPC, must have an image, must have a map price. Once you've done that advanced search, you can actually do some bulk actions off of those search, adding all those products within a search to your product queue or to your store catalog. Let's dive into the product queue real quick. So the product queue is a staging environment. For a lot of folks, they like to keep these products in here uh, just to review and process. And before they're ready to sell, they can then move it into their store catalog or they can customize products. So for instance, I'm going to look at this product here. I'm going to come in and click customize. I can change up the title, the description, add in a video, change up images, and a couple other data points that I can change up as well. I can also change the price at a product level, but we prefer to do all that in bulk, which we'll show here in the catalog rules. So once you decide on these are the products I want to sell, I, I want to take them into my store catalog. The store catalog is the view mode and the active mode of active products that we're pushing over to your site and keeping it up to date. As you can see here, I just placed that product into my store catalog, and these are all the products we're pushing over to the sales channel and keeping synced up. Now, to do everything in bulk, you're going to want to jump over to the catalog rules. So the catalog rule section is setting up different rules and settings that make sense for your e-commerce business. For instance, pricing, one of the biggest things that we do, we help price products from your supplier onto your sales channel. This is the basic price, and we're doing a tier percent markup wholesale cost. So if anything falls below, um, in between, let's say, 0 to $10 on a wholesale cost, uh, we're doing a 30% markup and a $3 fixed addition. You can do a bunch of different ways of marking up your products. You can also do some advanced pricing, uh, you know, enabling a landed cost, making sure we never exceed the MSRP, uh, adding 99 cents at the end of all your products, a bunch of different settings that we have here for you to check out. You can also price products off of category and off of brand. Another thing too, is we actually push over the category structure from your supplier onto your sales channel. In the catalog manager here, this is where you can come in and rename and customize the the uh, categories that we're pushing onto the sales channel. For instance, you know, I want to come in here and I want to make this just eco-friendly. I can change that, update, and then it will then update on my store. Tags, this is the saved advanced searching. Controls, this is where you can manage how we would like to manage the inactive products or the out of stock products. A big one here is the minimum quantity filter. Something falls below, let's say three, we then mark it as out of stock on your site, just ensuring that you're definitely selling in stock products. 
And then for some of the guys that want to do everything in bulk by Excel spreadsheets, a little bit more tech savvy, uh, what they can do, they can upload SKUs to their catalog and queue through here by dragging and dropping a file. Uh, they can do price overrides, product customizations as well. One of our last functionalities, you can actually export a catalog as well of all the products that are in your store catalog. So for example, with the US Direct to Shopify integration, I just got a quick Shopify store up and running with this integration. Uh, you can see here, this is just a free thing. It took me a couple seconds to get going through Shopify. And then with our full upload, we then have added these products onto the site. So for instance, you can see through shop here, the different categories that we set up. Whenever I click on one of these categories, you'll see more of the products that we got on this site as well. As you can see here, we got a store up and going with products ready to sell. For certain suppliers, we can push over the variation structure as well. And you can see all of the products uh, that we're ready to go through uh, sourcing through the US Direct supplier. If you have any more questions, feel free to jump back into the app.inventorysource.com. Go to the help tab here on the left. Check out our support center for all our video tutorials and documentation. Um, and if you want to get in contact with the sales rep here or one of our account managers, anybody on the team, click contact us here. Be more than happy to help you out.